Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Little Miss Venti. I always look a fucking mess in the morning. Honestly, I look a mess 80% uh, of the time. Unless I'm going to work, y'all, I that's like the only time I don't look a mess. I don't even be caring, honestly. Um. Anyways, good morning. It's Sunday. It's St. Patrick's Day. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, you know what the fuck that means? It means that hopefully people are going to be at the club. We have a party tonight <clears throat> at the club. Actually, all the clubs in the city have parties tonight because it's St. Patrick's Day. Uh, this was going to be my stripper interviews, but I, because I haven't done them yet. Um, I was supposed to do them last Friday, but I actually ended up getting to the club kind of late. And then when I got there, I was doing rooms and shit, so I just didn't get to. <laughs> Working in the club around all them fog machines. You gotta talk over the DJ, you gotta talk over people, like it's loud as fuck in there. When I tell y'all after, so today's Sunday, but Friday after work, when I left, I literally had no voice. I couldn't work yesterday because if I were, if I would've worked yesterday, nobody would've been able to have a conversation with me. Like this is how my voice sounds now and this is a little bit better. But yesterday when I, or yesterday and the day before, when I tell you I could not talk at all, like, it was insane. That was my first time losing my voice, like, ever, I think. I don't think I've ever lost my voice before. And I feel like I wouldn't have lost it if I wasn't in the club screaming, trying to fucking talk to people and being around all that fucking smoke. But I lost my pointer nail the first day I did my nails, put that shit back on. Then last night, or Friday, at the club, I lost this one. And I'm like, I don't fucking feel like doing my nails again. So, yeah, but anyways, y'all, it's the morning. Um, I haven't really done anything yet except for clean my kitchen. I got my garbage together. I'm about to throw some laundry in the washer. That's like regular shit, though. I feel like I do laundry and garbage and dishes and shit every day. So, whatever. But I'm just sitting in my chair right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I gotta change this diaper. So, I'm gonna go, y'all. And plus, I'm really not doing anything until I go to the store. So, I'll probably catch y'all after that. Um... Another thing I was going to say, it was funny as hell, because I am going to be doing my makeup tonight for work. I haven't been able to do it the last two days, the last times I went, because I couldn't find my foundation. Mind you, my foundation is, like, almost empty, but I didn't throw it away. Like, I knew I didn't throw it away. I don't even know how my son reached that shit up on my fucking little table. But, girl, he hid that shit in the closet. So, I didn't have my makeup done the last two times I went to work. I just wore lashes and eyebrows. So yeah, mm -hmm. make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new here. Hey, if you've been here, what's up? Hi, y'all. Thanks for coming back. Um, I always notice the few people that have been here since the very beginning, which is crazy. So if you've been here since the beginning, I fucking love you, bitch, because, <clears throat> girl, we've been doing this shit for like 10 years, literally. I'm not gonna lie. I really want to consider like my first couple years of YouTube videos. Like even when I was smoking on YouTube, I wasn't trying to make money. I was genuinely just uploading videos because I was fucking bored. And I just so happened to get monetized. And then after that, I would, like never took it serious. So that's what we're doing this year. And I have to get back on my other YouTube channel, y'all. Like, I haven't smoked on there in so long. So I promise y'all, I promise y'all, I promise y'all the stripper interviews are going to be the next video after this one. And then I am going to be making a smoking video for my other channel. So make sure you follow that one too. And all my social medias down below. Um, I just am not going to be able to smoke and do a, a, a smoking video or like a hot box video probably for like a couple more days because my throat is killing me. I'm going to go y'all. I'm going to clean, get my shit done. We're trying to be on the ball. I'm trying to find my pyrite stone because I had it in my bed. So I might've fell behind my bed, but that has, I've just been getting back into my crystal work and stuff like that. I got my fucking selenite tower right here. Love her. I started reading books again. I'm actually reading this one. Because a bitch be angry, okay? <laughs> and, yeah, I'm going to try to find my pyrite stone. I'm going to put some energy into my crystals, charge them, cleanse them. Even though I don't really feel like they need cleansed because nobody's touched them or anything like that. But, <clears throat> it's sunny as fuck outside. It's nice out. I haven't charged any of my crystals in a long time. And I've only kind of charged those two because I've been using them. So, I'm going to charge my other ones, y'all. Okay. I ended up, y'all, I ended up finding my light. But it's broken. It's supposed to like clip onto your phone. Can't clip onto my phone anymore, y'all, because it's broken. But and it's also like almost dead. So yeah, mm, that sucks. <laughs> I went to the store with my grandma. I came home. I have to go back out to the car because I have to get the yogurt. My I have to get shit out of the car. And then um. I was gonna go to work early, y'all, but then I realized, like, because all I have to do is my makeup for real, for real. Then I realized that um, I didn't need anything yet. So I'm about to make, like, homemade chipotle rice bowls with some salmon on the side. I'm gonna eat real good before I go to the club. 
And then I'll probably order some food, like, before they stop serving food. I don't even know. Are people going to be serving food? Well, it is Sunday and it's St. Patrick's Day, so I really don't know how late like, food places are going to be open. I don't know. So, definitely going to be ready by, like, s trying to leave at, like, 6.30. Because the club opens at 7. And definitely not going to do the double shift, y'all. Because I realized that, I, okay, I would definitely be able to do it on, like, a regular Friday or Saturday. But not a Sunday, because... They open at noon on those days, so I could definitely do it on those days, because I'm. I, I think if they, I came at three, that I wouldn't be able to leave by like. I wouldn't probably be able to leave until like ten or eleven, and I feel like at that point it'd probably be pointless for me to even go there. So I would just want to stay at the other club. So one of these days, maybe if I feel like it, if I know it's gonna be busy or something like that, <clears throat> I'll do like a double shift or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm about to make homemade chipotle rice bowls. I got my rice in the rice cooker. Yeah. And. Yeah, y'all. I'm gonna try to. I be trying to set my tripod up, but like my kitchen is so small, y'all. It is so small. Like literally, that's it. It is so small. It's so fucking small. It's ridiculous. So like, it's hard to get the right angles. I can't really talk right now because my voice is like still kind of gone. I have a feeling when I go to work tonight. It's gonna be even more gone. I feel like it's gonna make my throat hurt. Cause y'all see how I sound now? Like I can't even talk loud. Like, uh, oh girl, what's wrong with me? I don't know. I don't even feel sick anymore though. That's a good thing. I haven't since like two days ago. But it's just the fact that I lost my voice. <laughs> Sections are filling up, so let's hope that tonight is not shitty. Because if it is, 50 is going to be livid. Livid, bitch. Good night, y'all. Section, just me and my bitch. We gotta go collect all this shit and count that shit. End of the night, y'all. So I gotta wait for my money to get counted. Hopefully, it's a, a good ass night. But I'm gonna tell y'all later. Basically, I was not really making nothing. And then I walked, I was randomly walking around, and this couple came up to me and was like, We need 800 wounds was good so i brought them them shits and it was me and somebody else that split that shit my voice is going but it's like 4 a.m so we're probably gonna be here for another hour counting money yeah i should have got a water because i'm thirsty My voice is gone finito y'all already told y'all how much money did i make tonight i have no idea i put it on my instagram if y'all follow me on instagram you already know but y'all what the fuck saved me tonight okay i was walking around sections were full like bitches were in the sections money was already being thrown so i wasn't in no section yet okay we closed early tonight we usually close at three or three thirty we closed at 2.30 because it was a Sunday, right? Cool. When I tell you, I'm literally randomly walking. My voice is gone, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm randomly walking, and this couple just hands me money. And they were like, we need $800. Okay, so I went and got that. Brought it back, and me and my friend danced. They got that. Honestly, I think they got like 1000 altogether, or maybe like eleven or 1200 they were complaining because we didn't have enough ones. Like, I swear to God, if we would have had enough ones, girl, my club, they'd be fucking playing. Like, they'd be running out of shit. That's annoying as fuck. But, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, that's a different talk before a different day about this club running out of fucking money and shit. But, um, basically, long story short, it was me and my friend, just two girls that split that shit instead of splitting it between a bunch of bitches. I got some food for the road. We had a food, we had food tonight. You know, it was crazy too. I told the chef, I was like, listen, it was the end of the night and they were like, last call for food. I was like, I'll give you $50 if you save me a plate. He was like, all right, I got you. I'll give you some salmon. I'll give you this, that, blah, 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 blah. I come back at the end of the night. This nigga was like, you never came back. 
so he didn't give me no food but one of the girls here gave me her food because she ain't want that shit so i'm gonna eat that shit on the way home y'all i sound crazy as fuck okay hopefully we made a band hopefully we made a band and i promise y'all i will work every single saint patrick's day every as long as i'm a stripper i will work every single saint patrick's day okay sorry for the terrible quality y'all ladies trash it's cold as fuck it's time to go to fuck home y'all so peace out it was a great night we're gonna get home safe Oh, bitch. <laughs> all right y'all hey it's the next day um all i know is i wanted to go to sleep real bad last night i went to sleep i still have some got to be glued up here because my bonnet is sticking to the glue y'all or the gel whatever yeah it was mostly ones like i think this is 400 ones and i have some with wing sauce on it because i accidentally spilled that in my bag on the way home um and i had to clean up my whole stripper bag so i just cleaned my stripper clothes y'all all of them i'm sorry i sound crazy i cannot help it y'all i cannot help it <laughs> short video short little vlog you know i got my stripper clothes done we're going to work tomorrow which is tuesday but it started snowing again i was gonna go tonight but honestly i don't think i have babysitter and it's snowing like y'all we just had a week of 70 degrees and now it's literally snowing again like I had a good night last night. It was cool. Um, that couple, that couple really saved the night for me, basically. So I'm glad that I accidentally ran into them. Not even accidentally, but like something was just telling me because all the sections were full, but they were standing on the ramp, like the ramp to get to the sections. So I was like, there's no point for me to go up there if all the sections are full. But for some reason, I was just like, let me just walk up there and see if, let me just walk up there. Walked up there, dude stops me and was like, you need 800 ones. Baby, let's go. Ouch. The fuck? Sharp ass nails. First of all, I'm going to start keeping my ones. And whenever they have events or whenever clubs have events or something like that, I'm just going to bring my own ones to the club because they be running out of them and that is so fucking annoying. I have never worked at a club that ran out of ones, y'all. But they be doing it all the time and they be claiming that they don't. Like, we even ask them, we ask them every time are we going to run out of ones. And they're like, no. And they fucking do. And it's annoying. And the dude was even like, yeah, y'all are playing. Uh, all together, I think they got like a thousand ones. I think they did. Maybe like 1,200. I really don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that was like where all of my money came came from, to be honest. I think I did one lap dance. I did a little section that had like, I split it, it was me and two other girls in it. But he only threw like a hundred, not even a hundred dollars. Because we got like twenty dollars each out of that shit. But whatever um i also got a lot of ones just by myself from either on stage or being on the floor although i just not realizing i didn't go on stage last night at all i went once like when we first opened and then i didn't get on stage after that i didn't, didn't even realize that and i should have but um i was too busy about working the floor so you know anyways y'all that's my little stripper vlog we're gonna have some different videos coming soon i know i've been doing the vlogs but i feel like i'll be fucking with the vlogs so yeah um i'm sorry y'all i'm just gonna go because my throat hurts real bad i feel like i sound like crazy but y'all already know the vibes <laughs> i had a fun night it was happy st patrick's day so thank you guys for watching make sure you like share and subscribe um peace out.